Welcome to another Sims 4 build video. Today we're going to be doing a thatched hut. Thanks so much to EA Game Changers for making this early access video possible. Now let's go ahead and get into the build. So with this build, I was really inspired by, which doesn't really seem to make sense when you see the final product, but I was really inspired by Hagrid's hut, which I was going to build Hagrid's hut, but then I realized, you know, a million people have built that before and mine probably wouldn't be as good because we only have base game and cottage living. So instead I decided to use the new pond tool, which by the way is really fantastic. Uh, and I wanted to build a little house that's sitting on an island in the middle of a pond. And uh, again, inspired by Hagrid's hut, even though it doesn't look like it, did this sort of octagonal build and a nice little roof on top. And you can see originally it really did look like that kind of roof in the same sort of style. Um, but that, that quickly changes. I actually turn it into a nice like sort of domed roof, make it all thatching uh, using the new roof texture and, and roof trim as well. Because I thought, you know, that'd be fun. Why don't, we, why don't we do something like that instead of, you know, this almost witch's hut looking place. We'll make it a nice little sort of off the grid kind of cottage uh, vibe. So that is what I ended up going for, which I think it's not like to play fully off the grid in this house. I'm obviously using lights. So you would have to uh, maybe have like eco lifestyle and generate your own power, or you maybe have to switch out some of the lights to ones that actually are off the grid. Uh, but it would be possible. Like some of the stuff uh, in this is. Uh, so it, this is also really interesting to, to do the floor plan and layout and try to get it all to work. And surprisingly, it actually all works. I did play test everything in this build uh, and it actually all came together pretty well. And, and it works despite it looking like it probably shouldn't work. So yeah, and also the other thing is you might have noticed already uh, this house is like, you don't even see the island anymore. There's this little island in the middle of the lake that, or this, it's not even really a lake, there's a little pond this house is sitting on. You don't even see it. It's completely hidden underneath the house, but you know, it is what it is. It, it was part of the inspiration for this build. So I was playing around with it. Um, I think maybe, I don't know at what point I changed the roof because the roof is looking really pointy and really not ideal. Oh, it must be right now. There you go. Yeah. So this is where I decided to change it to more of a domed roof, almost like a little mushroom topped house. Uh, and I was making sure that it covered all the walls. You can see that the walls are kind of sticking through a little bit. I actually do change it in a second to make sure it actually fits a bit better because we don't want, we don't want the walls sticking through. It just doesn't look as good. Uh, yeah. So I had a lot of fun with this. I really, it would be really nice if they had like curved walls uh, to just go along with this. I think it would look great. I don't know how they do that, um, if they will ever do that in The Sims 4, but uh, especially with these sort of circular roofs and then the, the sort of curved balconies you can do, I think it would have been nice. I, I didn't do the sort of rounded balconies on this build. I guess I could have, but I figured it, it, it didn't look, I, didn't, I figured it wouldn't look as good. I didn't try it, but I, I didn't think it would suit just because when you put the walls down and you don't see the roof, it um, the little balcony sort of lining up the walls looks pretty good. Uh, so this is pretty, I, I, this is pretty much the build, you know, uh, and then we sort of just spend the rest of the time trying to figure out how to furnish it and how to fit stuff into it. Ends up being a one bedroom, one bathroom, uh, I guess unsurprisingly because of its size, that's what it ends up being. And uh, just has a lot of little funky windows and this beautiful like storybook door. I think it's a lot of fun. And I love this little tower up here. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say it's kind of like a wizard's tower, but we changed the build. I just like the little... Uh, little upper room there, which I turned into like a little home office um, kind of space. There's like a computer and a bookcase up there. So, you know, you can go do, do your stuff up there. Uh, using the, the sort of wooden window set has a lot of uh, nice details as well. Oh, actually that thatched bay window. Oh, I think this turned out so well because that wall that window is on is where I'm putting the kitchen. And I, I love that sort of window behind the kitchen. Uh, I think I put the stove there. I think it looks so good in the end. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. Oh, and these little stained glass windows, uh, I think are perfect for this house. This, this is almost like a little storybook fairy tale home sitting on the lake here. Um, and it's got all these, you know, sort of this funky fence around the outside, that door as well with the beautiful like etching in it, uh, the sort of carved wooden door. And then we have this little pond around it. I was tempted to put alligators in this pond, but I decided not to because <laughs> probably, probably shouldn't do that. But I think there's just some ducks and stuff I put in 
around the spawn. I mean, you can always change that. Like, it's pretty easy with the, the new tool. There's all these sort of visual effects you can add in. I think there's like dragonflies, fireflies, um, tadpoles, a couple of ducks, swans, the alligators. <laughs> I think it would be really fun. And I think we're going to have to do this to make a, a villain's like lair and have like a pond with alligators in it. Because uh, I think that'd be pretty fun. And then also the, um, what is it? The, is it the koi pond from Get Famous that you could have sharks in? You have like a shark pond, the alligator pond. Uh, it'd be good fun. So here is the interior. At this point, I'm just figuring out what's actually going to work. Because it, it's, first of all, an octagon. So trying to do walls and a layout in here is tough enough as it is. Uh, and then I have to figure out if things will actually fit and if we have enough room for everything. Turns out, thankfully, things do work and things do fit. Uh, and uh, along with the ladder going upstairs, everything actually worked out pretty well. It doesn't look like the, that bed and that door should work, but they do. So that's fantastic <laughs> because otherwise I don't know how we'd do the bedroom, to be honest. But we have to make the place a little bit bigger. But thankfully, we didn't have to do that. So just a little um, little bedroom in there, double bedroom though, very nice. And a little bathroom, which I believe has everything. You know, it has a, I think it has a bathtub, sink, toilet, <laughs> you know, the essentials. Uh, yeah, it was good. I think it, yeah, it was good that we could actually fit a bathtub in there though, which I was pleased about rather than just a shower. The living space is a really interesting shape <laughs> with all those diagonal walls and everything. But I had fun trying to get everything to fit in here. Like, it, it is truly like a little puzzle, you know, trying to piece everything together here, trying to make the bathroom here a little bit bigger. And with that front door and those two windows, I kind of love the fact that there's like that weird triangle there because this is just a bizarre little cottage on a pond, you know? And I love that weird pokey pointy corner by the front door this weird bathroom with everything kind of shoved in here i don't know i i really enjoy this aesthetic much like the last build i did as well that cozy cottage where everything was small i mean the rooms are more regular shapes but having such small spaces to work with and and sort of puzzle together the furniture is so much fun especially when it's so irregular like this build uh, once we move into the living room oh <laughs> just you wait i think it comes together so well uh, so that's pretty much the bathroom. Um, and then the bedroom, I think, I don't know. Do I do bedside tables? I don't remember. It has like the vanity. Yeah, we get that in. That actually does work. Surprise. Again, I, I don't know. I'm kind of blown away that the Sims can actually walk around in this room and actually access everything. Like surprisingly, it totally works. Um, yeah, the bedroom, I think, yeah, it's pretty simple. Has a couple of curtains as well, you know. You know we, we like our privacy here on the pond. Uh, <laughs> the privacy and the bond. A uh, little picture that I actually sized up. I really wish it was a bigger version of that that picture. I Because when you size up, it obviously the quality doesn't look as good. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. So the kitchen, I think it's great. I think the kitchen is fantastic. I think it's just these three tiles and then I put a fridge on the side. And I, I'm really stoked about it. <laughs> I, did, I love it. I actually really love it. Like I said, I love that that stove sitting in front of that bay window. And then I'm using the, well, I'm trying to, as you can see, use the corner cabinet. I don't know if I do in the end. I think I, maybe it's use a regular one or what do I do? I don't remember. You know, let's watch and find out together. I built this about a week ago or so. <laughs> so uh, using the, that's the off the grid fridge that you can uh, add ice into, or I guess you can do that with any fridge, but this one is, is, oh wait, maybe no, because this is off the grid. You don't need to add the ice into it. Wait, how does that work? Maybe you do. I don't know. But anyway, that is the icebox fridge. <laughs> That's that one there, which uh, I think totally suits this house. Um, I was trying to fit in this little kitchen decoration shelf item here. As you can see, I actually did size it down one because it didn't really fit. It was a double wide thing. Above the kitchen area here, I'm just adding a spandrel because I wanted that extra detail to have it like sort of framed in that little window section. I think it looks really, really nice. I actually really love that. Uh, and then that's pretty much the kitchen, the little sink, the stove, one counter, fully functional uh, along, you know, everything there totally works. The sink, the stove, the fridge, little dining table as well. Nice two seater. And then we have the little living room area just off to the side of that. And it was kind of interesting when I was trying to figure out how to do the living room, uh, which we'll see in just a moment, because <laughs> again, because of the shape, you can't put a whole lot of stuff in there. Uh, I was also here looking to add in pots of pans. I was going to do it, but then I thought it kind of maybe looked a little visually cluttered because we have the chandelier. I like the aesthetic of the hanging pots and pans from the roof, but 
Again, I, I think I looked a little, a little cluttered. So I did the ones on the wall, got some knives as well on that side, a little cookie jar, you know, a few little clutter items, teapot, of course we're gonna have the teapot. That'd be, how could you live without it? Uh, I really wish like bay windows had um, shelving slots so you could put stuff in there. Cause I mean, that's a perfect space to store stuff. Uh, yeah, living room. So um, I think I quickly decided that I wouldn't actually be able to fit a couch in because it's too big. <laughs> so I did two armchairs, which I thought was great. I could imagine a nice little elderly couple living in this little house, this little cottage. Although I guess if they're elderly, the ladder going upstairs, probably not ideal. <laughs> maybe, maybe not the ladder bit, but the downstairs is, you know, I can imagine, uh, you know, a little elderly couple sitting in those two armchairs, sitting next to each other, watching the old telly, seeing what's on the old, the old tube, you know. Uh, a little cross stitching box there as well, so you can do the new skill, and then the little bookcase as well. So this is a pretty fully featured build, if I do say so. You got the TV, the kitchen, bookcase, TV. I said TV again. Uh, we also have upstairs. We have the computer as well. So I think it really does have everything that you need, or at least the basics, you know. And I think I also. What else is upstairs? Did I do the easel? I think I did an easel upstairs as well, so you can do some painting up in the tower which is pretty fun. Uh, yeah, so again, this whole thing is fully functional. And I also did do that gramophone there. So you also have radio, pretty great. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much the downstairs. And then up here is just a little little office nook. So you can come up here, do some work, you know, little computer, little, uh, little easel, using that new typewriter computer thing, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I, I, it, it suits this build. I think the thing I dislike most about that computer is if you zoom in on it, the texture quality of it is pretty awful. Uh, <laughs> so I made it black so you don't really see it as much. Uh, I, man, there's not enough bookcases uh, in this base game and cottage living combo. There was some that I was wanting to use here that just don't exist. So, and because like this space here is so like small, um, trying to get it all to fit in is, is really quite interesting. But uh, in the end, you know, it, I think it worked out okay with the easel and all that. And you know, it's all functional. So I mean, what more could you ask for? I would be a little bit worried about that dining chair, you know, sitting on that on the computer and it falling down the ladder. It's very close, but uh, it doesn't, so that's great. Uh, outside, very simple decorations. Uh, we basically just have, actually do, I think I, had, I do add a chicken coop in here too. We actually do fit a chicken coop in. We have a chicken coop and three uh, planter, um, oversized planter crop. Plots. I don't know why I said it so strangely, but yeah, so it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty well featured little house and I had a lot of fun building this one. I think the three builds that I've done in this early access period have been so fun because they're all so different. You know, we had the original sort of cow shed, almost kind of uh, renovated industrial old cow shed building, the one I did first. Then we had the little cozy English cottage, which is a very small and tight build but had that beautiful garden. And then there's this one, which is this little thatched hut, hut on a little pond, um, which has also just been really fun to build because it's so different. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other builds that you'd like to see me do in Cottage Living once the game is out and then have all the other packs, we'll definitely be doing more for sure. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to having access to all the packs again instead of just base game and Cottage Living. Be able to use everything. It's going to be really, really nice. Oh yeah, I had so... Along uh, the lines of this this hut, because we've got this sort of circle uh, roof and octagonal build, I wanted these planter plots to be sort of a little bit sort of curved in placement around. Uh, so that's what I did. You know, I thought that also looked really nice. I actually did two rose bushes on either end, uh, which is a thing, I believe, with vineyards, at least here in Australia, where they'll plant um, flowers, I th think roses, at the end of a line of um, grapevines because the, I think, I don't, I don't know, you know, in the comments, correct me on this, but something about the flowers, you'll be able to see any disease in the flowers before you'll see it in the grapevines. And that's the idea, I think. Anyway, that, that was that was the inspiration of that. No idea if that's accurate. Also in this particular case, it probably doesn't make much sense. You've only got three plots, but um, <laughs> I, I like that little detail of having them there. Uh, whether it makes any sense or not, I don't know. But that was the inspiration behind it. A uh, little chicken coop alongside the, the pond there. 
which I think looks really nice. I love, I love gardening in this, well not gardening, but landscaping rather in this pack and, and, and all these houses because you can make them look so lush and so green. And there's just so much going on here. Oh yeah, use the new little uh, chicken <laughs> chicken fountain. There's like a little watering can that just has water sort of coming out of it. So I put it near the chicken coop over there. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. Uh, I've got a little fishing spot over here and a bench as well to hang out and sit on. But uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game now and do a tour of the build so you can see it uh, a little bit more clearly rather than in this time lapse. But yeah, let's let's have a look. Let's have a closer look. Alrighty, so here we are in the game now so we can actually see it a little bit closer up and we can see all the pond details and the ducks and, and all that stuff that we put into it. Uh, I think this is so cool. I mean, you can't even really see the island that is actually in the middle. Which I guess doesn't really matter, but it's just a fun little build. Uh, I really wanted to use a thatched roof and create this something to do with a pond as well. Considering the pond tool was completely new, I wanted to do something with it. And uh, this is really fun. This is a really fun little build. And much like the last cozy cottage build I did, this is a small build as well. And I really love trying to get everything to work and, and make sure it all you know fits in and is all functional. But yeah, so starting off, we'll have a look at the outside. We've got this sort of wraparound balcony. Lots of different windows and lots of lighting on there. I forgot a nighttime, actually. You'll be able to see some of those lights uh, sort of glowing around the house there, which I think looks really, really nice. Got a little bit of atmosphere from it. And back at daytime, we've got a few little uh, garden patches over here. So you can do some planting. Nothing too crazy. And then a little chicken coop over here alongside the lake with this little fountain spewing the water in. How great is that? And over here, we have, actually have the new fishing sign, which you can add to your lakes. And uh, you can fish in the lake. But you first need to actually stock the lake. So you have to go catch fish and then sort of release them into this pond here. Uh, and then you can do fishing in the pond. So that is there. And there's a nice little bench there to look over the pond. Again, much like the last build, I, I don't really ever use benches in my game. But it's always nice to have a bench around. <laughs> like, I don't use them because it's like, what am I going to go sit there? And I guess, I guess you could read a book. It might be nice. I don't know. Anyway, moving inside, we have this very, very tight little uh living dining kitchen area but i i love this i don't know i again like i said i love these tiny spaces and just fitting everything in it's all functional you can sit in all the chairs you can fully cook a meal in the kitchen everything works there is even a bin down there look at that uh yeah it, it all works perfectly fine i do also really love that sort of bay window behind the stove when i first did that i wasn't too sure because it you know it's not a perfect fit but I think it more than makes up for it in, in, in looking awesome. <laughs> like, I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, yeah, and then we got the little cross-stitching box there as well. So you can sit on these chairs, do some cross-stitch. And it all comes together nicely. Now, through this door is the bathroom, which is a little pokey. But um, I think it's to be expected with, like, an octagonal build and really small rooms. Do you know what? I, should, I, think, I, I think I did test this. Yeah, it, it works. We're good. I uh, was just making sure, yeah, it'll work, so no need to fear. And I did test the bedroom, which is just in here. Got that nice new picture above the bed. It is a funny shaped room, but it is functional. I mean, considering how close it looks like the door is here, you'd think it wouldn't work. It does work, though, so that's great. Then we have the ladder to go up to the little tower, which is our sort of little office with that new typewriter computer thing. I don't know, a couple of stained glass windows. The easel. You know what? I did not test the easel. Or actually, I didn't test this tower. Okay, well, the computer works. That's great. Can I do a painting? I can't. You know what? This is actually great. I'm actually surprised that that worked. Like, I kind of assumed that it worked, but I'm actually surprised that it does. That's fantastic. <laughs> But with that, I'm going to leave this video here. This is the build. Uh, now, you will be able to download this when Cottage Living is released. The game isn't out yet, so this is not available for download yet. But when it is, you can find it by, wait, searching that name on the gallery, James Center YT. It'll be on that account. And you'll be able to find it there to download as soon as the game comes out, which is pretty exciting. So this is kind of just a little bit more expensive than a starter home. I think it's like 26-ish thousand. So if you did want to use it for a starter, you could probably come in, remove the computer, remove, you know, a couple things. Probably a lot of the bushes and stuff, you'd save a few grand, I think. There's a lot of foliage around. There's probably some money you can save here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.